Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use live speech on your macOS device. This is an accessibility feature that allows you to use your laptop to speak aloud in the computerized voice, or you can use it to speak directly into applications such as FaceTime, which can be very helpful for a wide range of reasons. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is a pretty simple process, but I'll run you through step by step what to do. So the first thing you need to do is go down and open up system settings. Once you're in system settings, what you need to do is go to the accessibility options on the left hand side. And then once you're in accessibility, scroll down until you see the speech section and then you can click live speech. Now you can see here it says live speech. With live speech, you can type to speak aloud or directly into applications like FaceTime. Click the keyboard with the little microphone in the menu bar to show or hide live speech. So what we can do is turn this on and then you'll see that there's a box that shows up the top here with type to speak. And we've got a few different options here. So I could type something like, I'll just turn it up here. I could type hello. Hello. And I just click enter and it reads it out. This is a test of live speech. This is a test of live speech. And you can see how it sort of works. It highlights the word as it goes, and then you can just click enter or you can physically click the play button. Now, as it said before, if you'd like to show or hide these options, you can just click this keyboard button and it will show or hide the little box to type into. Now we've got a few other options here. We can change the preferred language. So we could either use the system language or choose it something else, depending on uh, if you want to change it up a little bit. Uh, for me, obviously, the system language is just English, so that works fine. I don't need to change that, but you can change that if you need to. And in terms of voice, we can change it between the system voice or something that's a little bit more specific to your region. So I could change it to something like English Australia with maybe compact voice one, and we can test that. Hello. And then there's the Australian male voice and then compact voice two. Hello. Is the Australian female voice. Uh, but I usually just leave it on system voice uh, for this anyway. Um, we can also change the font size. So if you need to be able to see it bigger, you can click that up and then uh, everything uh, will be bigger. Hello, this is a test. So I think you can even use grammar if we test that. Hello, this is a test. Yeah, so grammar works as well, such as um, commas and all that. We can also make this much smaller as well, just depending on how you want it. I'm um, pretty sure the default is around 32. You can also make some saved phrases. Um, so we could say, um, hello and welcome to the video. And there's a saved phrase. Now to access these saved phrases, we just go into the little bookmark here and you'll see there's a saved phrase. We can click that and it goes in. Hello and welcome to the video. And there you go. You can see that it saves those phrases. And if at any time you want to remove one, you can just click the minus button and it will remove it for you. So you can add a um, whole heap of those and then have them saved ready to go whenever you need them. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of live speech on macOS. Again, this is a really helpful accessibility feature if you might have a bit of trouble speaking or if it's just easier to have your computer speak things out, maybe for someone else to hear. And it's great that you can tie this in directly into applications such as FaceTime. Um, I'm pretty sure this sort of works um, with good integration uh, from what I understand. So that should all work really well if you were to be in one of those FaceTime calls. And then if at any time you want to turn off live speech uh, completely, you can just flick it off in system settings and it will go away. So once again, to access those menus is accessibility under speech, you've got live speech and then 
um, you can toggle it on and off here and change the other settings as well. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see any other videos to do with the accessibility settings on macOS because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. And hopefully this video was helpful and it's given you a great success with enabling this live speech function and giving it a go on your device. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.